Welcome to the shooting show. This week we test out Purdy's new bolt action rifle down on the range and out in the field at Rodos. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Six o'clock start this morning. Picked Nigel up. Still dark. Um, coming light, shootable light from sort of seven o'clock ish. Um, but certainly being able to see um, beasts from the high seat with binocular and get you know nicely prepared for anything that may be coming our way. Um, it was an opportune stalking session. Uh, the main aim of today was to get the Purdy rifle onto onto the gongs at a, a little bit further distance um, but the farmer had, had mentioned that he had a he had seen a, a deer um, limping around near the muck hill and that just happens to be where one of my high seats is and after what seemed like a an eternity of a cold morning um, with those two cozied up in the one of my little boxes um, before we'd even gathered any footage of anything the camera was only just sort of like getting through the light you spotted a, a movement a little rodo and she was limping as well so she was limping it was the right one yeah to be fair regardless of sex the fact that it was limping that deer was going to be taken anyway um i'll have a good look at the carcass a bit later but turned out she had a good size abscess on her yeah front end yeah He's quite an abscess. Yeah.
Excellent job. So a good taker, dropped like a dropped quite quickly didn't it? to the shot nicely. Yeah, um, we'll maybe just uh, on the higher end of, of calibers as far as, as row is concerned. But you know, the object of the game really was to gather this beast that was possibly a little bit worse for wear. Um, we'll see what the conditions like. So now we're out on the gongs, but tell me what we're what we're using. Uh, new Purdy bolt action. Uh, it's a bit different. We, uh, we started with a clean sheet of paper uh, with a brief that, that we wanted a best London rifle that shot uh, like an F class. Yeah. The titanium chassis starts back here and goes all the way to the front of the forend. Uh, the front sling swivel goes into titanium, not into wood, so it's very strong. Yeah. Uh, and we've also put into the chassis the facility to put a spigot for a javelin bipod. Right. Uh, so if customer orders one with a bipod, uh, again, it goes into titanium, it doesn't go into wood. Yeah. But everything's designed to be rock solid and stable. Yeah. Uh, best London rifle, yeah. beautiful, beautiful piece of Turkish walnut. Uh, this one's seen a bit of action, seen a bit yeah. of field work, so it's not as beautifully polished as it could be, but you get the gist. Uh, the action itself is 5-axis CNC made. Uh, it, it's beautifully tight. Yeah. Uh, precision rifle, the action and the bolt facing the alignment of the chamber and everything is obviously primary and then comes the bedding and we've just got the combination of the two yeah. spot on. Yeah. Uh, I've got a moderator on this one. Uh, it's it, The rifles come standard with a uh, invisible thread cover. Yeah. Uh, so that they've all got them on there. You can't see them unless you look really closely. But in today's age, uh, most people tend to shoot with a moderator. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's a very easy yeah. add-on. Uh, April mounts or uh, swing offs. Uh, we have a number of customers who who will use them for boar and for deer and for many other uses. Uh, the nice thing about swing offs is you can have two scopes set up, just pull one off put the other one on yeah uh, it goes back to zero every time yeah. it's it's spot on classic three position safety uh, control feed did you just see some of the that's, that's a little bit of titanium yeah. that's poking through which effectively is that's the the real game chamber drill would you have said with the 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 design aside from yeah, the fact that the the, the action has been updated the, it's the precision of the action, yeah, uh, and it's the chassis. The yeah. fact that you can bed it, and as you can see, we've free floated the barrel. Yeah. Now on a on a wooden stock, you can't usually do that because the wood moves. Yeah. Uh, so we've got nice tight tolerances, and it's free floating. Yeah. So it's 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 set up as a a very very accurate precision rifle, but it just looks like a piece of furniture. Right. Um. We could bore you to tears probably talking about these rifles. Um, I think probably just going to let the rifle do the talking. Okay. Target at 475. Uh, I've just put the ballistics into shooter. Uh, coming up with 2.6 mils up and 0.4 of a mil to the right for wind. Yeah. Giddy ant. <laughs> a piece of furniture really shouldn't shoot like that, should it? <laughs> I don't think we're done. <laughs> that is unreal. You didn't think that'd do that? Did I didn't think first first shot out of effectively a cold barrel. I know we've warmed it up on a row this morning, but that is yeah. Yeah, magic. <laughs> A job.
flying off. <laughs> that is as sweet as a nut. It's not very often you see me struggling to spit words out. Um, as many of my friends unfortunately find out, I've usually got something to say about plenty of things. Um, I knew this rifle was coming up, I didn't know a great deal about it. Uh, first shot out of the box watching Nigel shoot this off the gong and send the gong singing, and I mean singing. Um, definitely sort of makes me smile from my perspective of a long range capability, a consistent accuracy and a traditional beauty as well. Um, from a traditional old London gun maker to manufacture from the floor up or effectively from the drawing board as well when they first started the project to end up with something that looks as beautiful as it does and then performs as it does. I don't really know what else you can say. It's an awful lot of fun to shoot and hopefully one day I may be in a position to be able to afford one. Highly unlikely, but who knows? We're all allowed to dream. Nigel and Stuart there testing out the Purdy BAR. And now it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. There's more pressure than ever on the government to sort out the firearms licensing system. The House of Lords debated the Offensive Weapons Bill last week and discussed an amendment that would require the Home Secretary to report to Parliament on problems experienced with firearms licensing guidance, particularly around medical procedures. The amendment wasn't voted on but has moved with the bill to the report stage. British Shooting's Shotgun Series is back. Hitting the best British shooters in Olympic skeet and trap against each other, last year the series saw Amber Hill, Ben Llewellyn, Kirsty Barr and Steve Scott crown the winners. This year it'll kick off at the end of April with a trap stage at Nuttamstead and a skeet stage at Bisley. Entries are open now on the British Shooting website. Now the game seasons have ended, why don't you try a new shooting sport? Basque said game shooters should put the off-season to use by trying a different discipline or introducing a newcomer to shooting. Chairman Peter Glenzer said people can still take part in deer stalking, pigeon shooting, wild fowling, clays and target shooting. If this is something you've never tried before, perhaps it's time to try something new. And finally, we'll see you at the British Shooting Show this weekend. The UK's biggest indoor shooting show returns to the NEC and will be packed with big brands from the shooting world as well as arena demos and retail stands offering the chance for a bargain. We'll be there roaming the aisles for the latest news and you might be able to find us on the future publishing stand along with Sporting Rifle, Clay Shooting and Airgun Shooter. That was the Shooting Show news. At the Midland Game Fair, I was stood on Scott Country stands helping them uh, promote the new Wicked Lights. Now I've been using these lights for probably six months to a year and then so far I've been really impressed with them. Um, there's basically a couple of different versions available. You've got a standard uh, LED model which is uh, just a standard lamp and there's also an infrared or a couple of infrared um, models available too for use with night vision. Now what makes these units so good is you've not only got your standard white light but you've also got a red and a green light built into these. So there's three LEDs all built into this one torch. Now just demonstrate. Uh, change between the three colours very straightforward. You just simply turn this dial on the top here. I don't know if you can see that, but you've got a red light, a white light, and the green light there. And in between each one, you've got an offsetting. Um, just turn that off. Right. The other thing with these is they come with two different tail switches. This one is the uh, the remote tail switch, as you can see. It's a switch on a, on a short cable which velcros onto the stock of your rifle. Now, you don't have to have a little velcro patch on there. They also come supplied with like an elastic key uh, strap there which can go around the stock of your rifle. Um, so you don't have to have that lump of velcro on there. Now, on both the standard tail switch, like that, which just screws on the end there, they're spied with both of these. With both of these tail switches, there's a dimmer setting. So, 
turn that on so you can dim that right down so you can just pick up the eyes of your fox or your rabbit or whatever it is you're shooting and then you can just increase that brightness to however bright you need it so you can uh, ID the body or see the body clearly enough to shoot. Uh, it's a silent switch as well which is handy. Um, the other brilliant feature with these torches is the quick release mount. That comes off as simple as that. It's basically you've got like a uh, uh, inverted um, scope mount with a Picatinny rail on there. That stays permanently on your day scope. That hooks over, locks down tight, that's on there solid. Now you can adjust the, uh, the position of the torch as well for windage and elevation. So if you pick up a fox maybe two, three hundred yards out and you want to just bring that beam up onto it, all you've got to do is just use that little thumb wheel there. I don't know if you can see but that torch is moving up and down as easy as that and there's one on the side there as well which moves it left and right for windage. You'll notice there's a rubber um, piece on the front here, that's a rubber um, shield that slides on there and just gives you a bit of better grip on that and it also helps to avoid a bit of the beam um, scatter. Now by revolving that front lens that will either tighten the beam right up to a tight little square or increase it to a standard flood beam. These units run on a single 18650 battery. Which you change by simply unscrewing that and slide the battery out. They come supplied with two batteries and a charger, all in the kit price. And each battery will give you around about uh, three hours continual use. So with two batteries, you're going to get six hours use, which is more than enough for uh, an average night out lamping rabbits or foxes. All in all, these units are really well made and uh, good value for money. And the IR model, as you can see on this one, this is the uh, A51 IR. Again, it's got the quick release mount on there. This is mounted onto a Photon R2. Uh, you've got two IR settings on there, two different brightness um, settings of IR, and you've also got a um, a red LED, normal standard LED light on there as well, so you can use it for uh, as both a traditional lamp or with a night vision unit for uh, an infrared. The IRs on these are, um, well they're, they're certainly up among the, uh, the top IRs on the market and having that adjustable mount and the dimmer function on there makes these brilliant for nighttime shooting. So overall, if you're in the market for an infrared um, IR for your uh, night vision scope or a standard replacement lamping kit, these wicked lights are certainly worth a look. Well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.